We're back, everybody. With more trials of Cold Steel. Okay. Man, that sounds like a game I want to play. What? Man, Trials of Cold Steel, that sounds like a great game. I'm sure it is. But I'm sitting here playing Trails of Cold Steel. Oh, Trails. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yep, I'm sitting here playing. I'm playing Trails of Cold Steel. But trials, man. Trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Shut we're going to help these losers out. Maybe our courts will be all for naught without that permit. It's beyond essential that we find it. <clears throat> they could probably use our help, too. Ah, suckers. Just kidding. We'd hope we had the time, but ha <laughs> losers. Yeah, got your hopes up. Why did you deny them again? Look at Reen. Does he look like the type of person to help people right now? Mm, I guess not, <laughs> but... <clears throat> Vincent, we can help you out if you'd like. What do you think? That's right, as fellow alumni of Thor's, we can't just ignore this. So it ended up like this after all. You busybodies sure like sticking your noses in other people's business, huh? <clears throat> I don't know what to say. <laughs> then don't say anything. We'll take a little look around the place. We'll help search for your permit, and maybe we'll pick up some intel on what's going on while we're at it. Thank you all so much. This really means a lot to us. It would be great if you'd take a quick look around the premises. We're counting on you all. I mean, y'all can help. Just saying, like... Doesn't have to just be Reen and the gang. The Register, huh? If there really was a thief, I imagine that they'd head straight for the mirror. Let me take a look. Yeah, let... Yeah. Crow examined the register lock. Doesn't look like anyone forced it open or anything. You sure perked up once you got your hands on the register, huh, Crow? I can't place it, but there's something different about you today. <laughs> it's no big deal, all right? This is the first time I've done something like this since I was at Thor's. It feels a little unreal, that's all. Yeah. Uh -huh. Crow loves the money. It's fine. I put the permit inside the cabinet along with some other important documents. It was still there until last night. I'm sure of it. But when I checked this morning, both the permit and the relocation notice were gone. You lost your relocation notice, too? Damn, this is real messy, ain't it? If they went for the letter, well, the only party I can imagine doing this is Clyston Co. And here I was, thinking of our rivalry as a fun, healthy one. No, 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 no. Clyston's a douche. Hugo sucks. Why would they do something that would clearly cause them to be hated? I think it's a little premature to jump to conclusions like that, since we don't have enough evidence. <laughs> There's a lot here that bothers me. Let's keep searching. Hmm. Let's figure out where the squad's at. Huh, so it is supposed to be... Like, how do I examine this then? Ah, oh, there it is. <clears throat> that window. If a thief really did sneak in here, it'd have to be through the entryway or a window around here. Yeah. Well, if they were here, they don't seem to have left any trace behind. No signs of forced entry at the door either. If someone broke in, it must have been a master thief, or... <clears throat> there never was a burglary to begin with, right? Let's go check out some other areas. Oh. Infighting, hmm. huh? Or just simple misplacement. Oh, what's... That's my desk where I take care of my paperwork. I'm terribly sorry for the mess. I was in a hurry this morning and everything is still splayed out on the desk. Hey. Isn't this the relocation notice in the trash pile? I thought the relocation notice and the permit were lost together, but... Yeah, what the hell, man? You just left one out here like this? <clears throat> what? I thought I sent them all out already. What happened? Here, Ford. What's going on, brother? Actually, I realized this morning that I forgot to mail some of the paperwork for the move. I removed the relocation notice from the cabinet and sent it all together. I was very rushed. If it's still here, then perhaps... Then maybe you screwed up which papers you were supposed to send out, yeah? Yes, that does seem to be the case, doesn't it? I have no excuse for my oversight. I'm so, so sorry. 
You're always so diligent, Hereford. A simple mistake like this isn't like you. So the document that you mistakenly sent out was the permit, then? It's highly possible. When we looked around the store, we couldn't find any traces of a thief. The only explanation is that one of your employees made a mistake, like what should or shouldn't have been sent out, for example. You were very thorough, weren't you? Hearing this, your theory does seem on the mark. So we can expect the permit to have been sent to the party the relocation notice was addressed to. Yes, the address was Lord Galton's estate in the Noble District. Let's head there immediately. Good idea. Please wait a little longer. I'm counting on you, Schwarzer. You know where it's supposed to have possibly gone. Vincent, why don't you go? It's your it's, getting, it's your sister's store. It's your family business. Jackass. Give me some ice cream, ma. Yeah, hey, blah, blah, blah. Give me some ice cream. Yeah, nothing urgent. We can have ice cream. It's not my job. We know they know where the permit's going. They want if they need it. So, <laughs> if they need it so bad, they can go get it. Your gentle gaze, instructor. Hey, why don't we take the opportunity? Why don't you take the opportunity to treat me to a cone? Excellent suggestion, Ash. I'll be sure to give it some real consideration. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> but I will. Oh, no. But I will try some bittersweet tomato gelato. That sounds. That sounds awful. It, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> We're going to try the recommended dish. I learned the recipe of bittersweet tomato gelato. <laughs> oh, man. So, do you want some parfait du tomatonio? No. Uh, Suck for you. Those are actually some really good items. <laughs> those are some good. Those are some. Those are actually some good items. That recovers a decent amount of CP. And CP is hard to come by. Do I want Ash or do I want Big Boobs Yuna as my evasion tank? I don't know. But I do know I want to cook. Alright. Oh, I can make some tomato gelato. She's got this in the bag. <clears throat> mm, looks ta Looks tasty. I hope it turns out well. Elliot, make me some tomato bachelada. Oh, this looks really good. Okay, so he might be he Elliot might be the one that I I hope for. it turns out well. Oh, this look Nope, that doesn't look like he's making the right stuff. Eh, whatever. We're making tomato bal bologna tomato. The Ortis Mansion. Hey, Lilibel, you're adorable. What's going on, Oliver? Why is she sad? This must be Lord Galton's butler. Excuse me, can I bother you? I mean, you barge into my house while I'm consoling the young lady of the house. So... You, you already have, so go on with it, boy. How can I help you? Green asked whether the letter from Riviera Court was, has arrived. You must be talking about the letter we received recently. Honestly, I cannot say I was thrilled over the contents of that letter. What did it say? Butler Oliver handed over a letter. The hell is this? This ain't a relocation notice. It's just business stuff. All that's in it is the operating profits and orders they made for after the move. That is correct. It seems to have been addressed to a store. Blah. That is correct. It seems that it was addressed to a store called Glycine's Flower Shop. I suppose anyone was liable. I do suppose anyone can be liable to make a mistake. But it feels relatively rude to my master. He has been a patron for many years. We're really sorry. This is the right one. Well, well. Thank you very much. I didn't think there would be another mistake. Yeah, maybe the florist has the permit then? It's possible. Glycine's Flower Shop is on North Street. Let's go take a look at the flowers. Stop and yeah. smell the roses. Can't stop. End of the world. Sorry. No roses here. Oh, but ice cream? It was tomato gelato, okay? <laughs> you stop for tomato gelato. Gelato. <laughs> 
Private home. Fine. We'll go see what the bar has to eat then. Since Dad's been conscripted to serve as a Navy cook, I've been forced to help out around here in his place. I've never worked a register before. How am I supposed to know about receipts and service charges and all that? It's common sense. Uh, I just want a nice guy to come by, that's all. Can you imagine if some rich guy like Yusuf Alborea or Patrick Hyarms came in to see me? Talk about your dream date. Sorry, can't do it. Moving out. It's my turn. Yes. Leave it to me. Best I can do you is the impoverished general, son of the governor general. Or the imperial governor. He has a gun, you know. Oh, this place just has the crappy sea breeze booyah base. Sea breeze booyah bicey. Booyah bicey. What else you got? Neptune booyah bicey. Alright, anyway. Anyway, enough of the tomato galato tornado. Oh man, that would be a terrifying thing. A tomato tornado. Yo, fucking Empire Meat. It's just literally called Empire Meat. And they got a meat. Okay. Why, if it isn't Miss Muse Egret, you're back earlier than I thought you would be. My plans have changed somewhat. I apologize for the radio silence, Bartolo. Oh, about that. I delivered that thing you asked me to, safe and sound. You got a few soldiers sniffing around, but I've already laid some fake info for them to find. It shouldn't pose any problem. <laughs> you really are the master, Bartolo. I never doubted you'd take care of it, but knowing but knowing the matter settled is a weight off my shoulders. If anything else comes up, you just leave it to old Bartolo, okay? I have empire meat. What the heck are they talking about? <clears throat> if I'm reading this correctly, Bartolo helped Count Egret evade the hand of the government. Is that right? Perceptive as always, instructor. Damn, just how many steps ahead could this girl get? What do you got for me, meat? Bartolo special. Skewer charred meat covered with rock salt. Roasted with care. Just meat. Can't, can't really fuck meat up. Yo, glycine. Give me flowers. Okay. Lady Muse, is that you? We've been worried sick. You'd up and vanish without a trace. It's been too long, glycine. I'm so sorry for worrying you all. <laughs> well, as long as you're safe and in good health, that's all we could ask for. It looks like it's been pretty stressful for everyone back at the house as well. All of North Street's been watching over you since you were a little girl. We'll always be here for you. And I'm ever so grateful. I actually have something that I'd like to ask. Musele asked if the florist had received a letter from Riviera Court. Ah, you must be referring to the invitation I got. To be honest with you, that's something that I'm a little stuck on. But I seem to present Musele with a piece of paper. This is... This is addressed to Kleist Mall. And all it says is details are per as our earlier discussion. If this is some matter of business, I'll do what I can, but I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm not even sure of what to say to the folks at Riviera Court about this. Oh, this has all been one big misunderstanding. This is the invitation meant for you. He usually handed over the letter of invitation addressed to Glycine's flower shop. Thanks, my lady. Sorry for the hassle. <laughs> don't even mention it. This kind of screw-up could put a real dent in Riviera Court's reputation for a while. Yeah, that's for sure. At any rate, we should head over to the business district and drop by Clyde Small, right? Now sounds like just the right time to find that permit. To the business district. The district where they conduct business. If you said goodbye, the second volume of a Trojan story printed in the Empire. If you said goodbye, I'd say hello. Ah, yes. Gotta get the peckies. Right. You guys got anything of note on the upper floors? Weapons! Weapons! Cypher graph. Precise and sturdy watch reaching a brand new design. Can be gifted to Machias while traveling together or while back at base. 
the hell is this? A bike color. Okay, now we're fine then. See ya, Hubert. Alright, what else we got? Nobody wants to play a children's card game with me? Losers. What about you, Specs? You! If I'm not mistaken, you're that group from Thor's. Is it okay for you to be here? I mean, this is a fucking store. I can go where I want. Yes, more or less. He tried to defame Riviera Court a while back. Looks like he's working as Hugo's subordinate for the moment. Anyway, don't go doing anything to stand out, you hear me? I already made it clear to her, but if I receive orders from higher up, I gotta take the government side, alright? Her? Could he mean? Got it. Thanks for the warning. Change of subject, but could I ask... But I also have something I'd like to ask you, Herman. Rena asked them all if them all had received a letter from Riviera Court. Oh yeah, we did get something like that. I heard the move was a done deal, so I just assumed it was an invite to the grand opening. I hadn't even opened the envelope yet. Hold on a sec, I'll bring it over. Wait, this ain't no invite. It's a permit for opening a new store. Had I known that, I would have shredded it. Exactly like we thought. This sudden move must have left them absolutely wrecked. Sheesh, what the hell are they doing messing up something this small when our dirty tricks couldn't even trip them up? Rain got the permit. Thanks, Herman. We finally got the permit in hand. And just a stone's throw from Riviera Court, no less. Guess it can be hard to see what's right under your nose sometimes, huh? Yeah, you said it. Should we head back to Riviera Court now? We should. We did it. All uh, we all we had to do was walk across the goddamn street. So the permit was actually sent to the Kleist Mall. It must have been quite troublesome for those who mistakenly received the permit. I cannot apologize enough. The full responsibility of this error lies with me. I will bear it entirely, even if it costs me my position. Wait a second. Sending the relocation notice was, re was originally my task to handle. It was because I was so tired, so I asked you to take care of it for me, Hereford. This is actually all my fault. No, if that's how it is, then I'm to blame for not noticing that was what was being sent out. No, none of you are to blame. You're all fired. Our eviction order came so quickly, and you've all been working non-stop non preparing for the move. The blame lies with me for not being able to properly be considered. Oh my god. The blame lies with me for not being properly considered of you all, despite how exhausted you must be. All's well that ends well. My thanks to all of you. You really saved us here. It's true. I can't thank you enough. With how things were looking, I thought I'd never be able to face Ferris again. I'm just glad that the permit was recovered in the end. It's a pretty serious mistake. To be honest, I'm not sure I can imagine anyone making this kind of mistake, no matter how busy they are. Do you think it was the curse? I guess we'll just have to shelve that matter for now. Well, we need to keep working on our preparations for the move. Please forgive me. I cannot thank you properly at the moment. Don't let it bother you. A 10% discount to anything in the store in, from here to perpetuity will be just enough. We can let things end like this, can't we? Or, we can't let things end like this, can we? We'll help out right up until the move. Oh, for crying out loud. Did you forget what our real objective is? Yes. Well, this is just another one of Instructor Reen's fantastic qualities, after all. Oh my, I am completely at a loss for words, but he's still no Vincent. We'll definitely take you up on your offer. Oh, Reen. Always helping people, even when the world is ending. Class 7 helped Vincent and the Riviera Court staff move their supplies. They opened up shop in a corner of the harbor, albeit in less than perfect condition. Could have opened up the fucking conscription office there, but eh, whatever. Fucking government bastards. Look at us drink out of the barrels. Led by Margarita, the staff of Riviera Court raised their glasses in a toast. Green and the others joined in the festivities and wished them good luck with their new storefront. Ah, it's back. Thanks to all of you, we've managed to successfully reopen. I've said this already, but I truly wish to express my thanks. Thank you all so very, very much. Choo. My pleasure. Looks like Marguerite is back to her old self. I don't think I'll ever get used to this. <laughs> of course, I'm grateful to you as well, Vincent. I'll give you a relaxing shoulder rub later as well. Ron. Oh, no, I er, I couldn't possibly impose, especially since my shoulders are not stiff at all. <laughs> Your attitude's made a complete 180 from earlier. Uh, please don't make this any harder than it already is. I already knew about this, but the heart cannot be so easily swayed. <laughs> you shouldn't allow physical appearance to distract you. <clears throat> allow me to express my thanks as well. You truly saved us in our hour of need. 
And where we are, of course, long and venerable history, we've never faced such a trial as this, as losing a piece of paper. Oh, no. You must be prepared to face even more challenges going forward, like losing two pieces of paper. We shan't falter. I swear it on the honor of Thor's and the Floral, Floral family. Same goes for me. Vincent and I are going to make Riviera Court a bigger success than ever. Vincent, Margarita, wow. We'll be looking forward to seeing what you do from here on. From the sound of things, you'll have your fair share of challenges coming up as well. Take care of yourselves. I know you have it in you to succeed. Yep, she's back to her old self. Like, how did, how did she get the weight so quickly? Vincent, I will rescue you. Play cards with me. Thanks to Reen in Class 7, our worries are finally over. So let's make the most of this moment of quiet and enjoy ourselves, Vincent. Oh, um, yes, that is to say, I still have a fair few things that concern me, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to settle down for a moment before taking action. <laughs> Not to mention, it is rather difficult to relax in the face of her still daunting personality. Oh, and speaking of settling down, are any of you familiar with the card game Vantage Masters? Sure, even have a deck of my own. Do you know, to tell you the truth, I've been playing it whenever I find a free moment at work. It really is habit forming. If you're interested, perhaps we could rekindle our old Class 1 versus 7 Class seven rivalry. I imagine we're both quite busy, but it might make for an enjoyable diversion. Sure, but you remember who came out on top in that rivalry, right? Vantage me, Vincent. Vintage the Vantage. Sure, why not? I will Vantage the Vincent. Ha ha! The game is afoot! And more about seven inches. <laughs> All right, you ready to play children's card games? Yes. Good, because we're playing children's we're card first. games. We're what? We are first. I did not mean to put you back there. Oh my god. I literally fucked up that whole turn. <laughs> it's whatever. Vincent doesn't know what he's doing. <clears throat> Vincent sucks. <clears throat> He's no Mishy, that's for sure. He keeps sealing the wrong the wrong unit, <laughs> so he's he's just being a clown. He seals that unit because it's got five attack, not any not either of the units that fucking can attack no matter which row he's in. <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong thing. On, Vincent, play your cards. You have all this money.
<clears throat> ah, Vincent's a damn clown. Take that. Well, well. You got it. That beats Seems ass. I've misjudged you. Your turn, Margarita. I know you play pom pom party. By the way, my heart shattered when I heard what happened with Milium. I'm sorry, Margarita. I know you two spent a lot of time together in the cooking club. She was such a bold chef, marching to the beat of no one's drum but her own. She showed me the real possibilities food had to offer, like adding drugs to the cookies for my dear sweet Vincent over there. I don't like the sound of that. Let's just say that girl tried to enjoy everything to the fullest, cooking included. I only wish I could fulfill the promise I made to her. What promise was that? As fellow members of the cooking club, we promised that we would work together to make a dish the likes of which no one has ever tasted. But even if we can no, make, we can no longer make that dish together, I believe I can make Milliam's dream a reality. Which leads me to something I'd like to ask of you, Reed. Could you bring me any peculiar dishes you make? Peculiar dishes? Oh, like the kind we brought you during the Civil War? Precisely. I'm sure dining on the unusual dishes you've made will be just the inspiration I need. It will only be a matter of time before I conceive and concoct a meal that no one has even dreamed of. All right, let's make Milliam's dream come true. Any peculiar dishes I make, I'll bring them your way. I can hardly wait. Like, I don't cook. And when I do cook, I fuck it up. No cooking. Like, I don't even know how to make peculiar dishes. Like, do I have to cook it with somebody who has absolutely no talent for making Allow said dish? Allow me to dish? prepare something. Don't know. Oh, interesting. Yes. Yes, I do. So, I tried to make tasty potato chowder, right? Okay. But since Laura can't cook for shit, she just made watery white mush. <laughs> and, I don't, and I don't know if you saw it, but it, it said complete with a question mark. <laughs> oh. Come on, Elliot. Teach me how to make spaghetti bolognese. I hope it turns out well. There, it's finished. Something's not right. Nope. Uh, he made sword pasta instead. Sword pasta. Come on. Machias, I know you're a chef who Let's can make fish pie. Try. Make the fish pie. Uh, there was an accident. He made a mirror pie. Come on, acerbic tomato pizza. Come on, Yuna, you're great at cooking at pizza. <laughs> mm, uh, not sure. A few more. Gotta give Yuna a few more tries. I got this in the bag. Mm, <laughs> what? She made extremely bitter pizza. She's terrible. What about Ozel miso noodles? Please eat it all. Come on, Mise, what can good. you cook? <laughs> Whoopsie! Oh, I she up. she made infernal demon noodles. Oh. He just looks like he can't cook creamy risotto. I'll handle this. The expected. Ah, uh, he can. He may be able to make creamy risotto. Now let's see, we're cooking. Let's see if he can make creamy risotto. Maybe nope. it's fine. She made pale plight rice. It's sad. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Who want Altina? Can you make Initiate the sea breeze booyah base? Probably not. An unexpected result. Frigid demon broth. Well. Let's see, uh... Alright. A vi... Alright. Watery white mush. A viscous, pure white liquid. Under no circumstances should you ever consume this. Huh. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. Sword pasta. A strange but wonderful pasta. The noodles have an acute sword-like feel to them. Mirror pie. <clears throat> A pie that's been overbaked to a mirror sheen. You can watch yourself as you eat it. Oh, 
not scary. <laughs> oh, no. Extremely bitter pizza. A pizza with way too many acerbic tomatoes. Its bitter taste lingers for days. Pale plate rice. Extremely unappetizing rice. Choking down even a single bite is a difficult task. Infernal demon noodles. A deathly hot noodle dish. Seriously, it's like eating magma. Frigid demon broth. A deathly cold broth dish. The contents of this pot chill down to the soul. Well, then. Uh, here, Margarita. Bon appetit. Mm, yes. Eat my watery white mush. Oh, -ho! thank you ever so much. You know, we've never actually heard Margarita have a voice, and that is like 99% not the voice I would have expected. Mind right? if I dig in, chomp gobble? My, what a captivating dish. That is precisely the sort of adventurous flavor I'm looking for. I can hardly wait to sample whatever you bring me next. Sword pasta. Oh -ho! Thank you ever so much. I, I've also heard that voice before. Oh, oh, she gave me something good. I can feel the inspiration building within me. I simply cannot wait to sample the stuff and the things. Oh, thank you ever so much. Here, have the noodles. Oh, thank you ever so much. Have the rice. I'm gonna kill her with the rice. Oh, you simply must let me reward you. Mm, no, I'm good. I'm okay. Reward Vincent in my place. Oh, thank you ever. Vincent, come over here and get rewarded by her. Vincent! Huh. Oh, that's a big speed down. Eh, no, nah, I think I think I'm good on what I want, equip wise for now. <clears throat> that's a boat. That's another boat. There are many boats. The Ordis Harbor District. Something doesn't seem right. Man, look at all these container ships. I've never seen this place so busy. The Imperial Navy has been using the Shilin Bay as their base of operations for a while now. This must be this must all be to send supplies to them before the war truly begins. That makes sense. I guess they're requisitioning stuff from the city already. According to what I've heard, most of the resident ships are being held back. We're really starting to see the effect of the national mobilization laws having on normal people's lives. Yeah, nationalism's on the rise and the war feels closer than ever. It could be having other repercussions. Let's take a look around town. We're gonna look around town. Uh, in just a second, I want to go. I want to go talk to that star. Stop moving, star. Oh, hey, perfect timing. A buddy of mine lo loaned me this book right before he got drafted. I'm in no mood to read right now, though. So why don't you take it? Because you can't give away somebody else's fucking property. Are you sure we can have this? Sure, he'd want to go to someone who's actually going to read it. Well, all right, if you insist, thank you. I mean, doubtful, but whatever. All right, we'll go into Miranda's Tavern next time. Till then. Yeah, till then. Oh, oh.